Hey everybody, thanks for watching Test 2 Plus. I'm Trace and we have Dr. Ian O'Neill here today. Thank How's you, Trace. Going, Ian? Thank you for having me on. This week we're talking about aliens. Test 2 Plus is a show where we take a big topic and we break it down into little topics. It's a video podcast style show, so sit back, relax, and let's talk about what happens if aliens come here. Bum, bum, bum. No, no, no? good stuff. Not good stuff. No, I, I doubt very much it'd be good stuff. Very bad. How bad? Planet Don't ending bad? Well, you know, Stephen Hawking reckons, well, he was he famously said that, you know, it'd be really bad news if we transmit our signal into outer space in case it gets picked up by a savage alien race that just wants to eradicate us. I mean, we don't even know if aliens exist, let right. alone what their intentions are. True. So, you know, I'd be like, meh, you know. Uh, See, and that's what I thought, and I love, I love me some Hawking, but my yeah. first thought, too, was we are very aggressive, egotistical, you know, us-centered societies, Perhaps aliens that are spacefaring aren't that. Yeah, like um, conquest is very much a human thing. Yeah. Why are we going to assume that these aliens are going to invade? I mean, right. alien invasion. You think alien, you think invasion. Uh, we're just I mean, afraid that, of everything. Yeah. That, if I was a type 2 civilization, hint to earlier episode, then I don't think I would be afraid of that much stuff. Yeah, even if you're a type 1. I mean, I mean yeah, really, but come type on. 2. Come on, type 2 is cool. Well, that's where it's type at. Type 2 is where that's it's at. That's a few thousand sure. years away from there. Yeah. So aliens, according to Hawking, would probably come here looking for resources, maybe looking for conquest. You know, they want some human trophies. I don't know. They want to colonize the planet, perhaps. Maybe we've got a lot of resources. Have you seen Battle Los Angeles? I have not. Oh, you need to see it. It's my guilty pleasure. It's, okay. a, it's, it's a good, bad movie. Um, it's basically these aliens invade, centering around L.A., because that's where all of bad course. stuff happens, of course. Definitely. Um, and the main point of the alien invasion is for our liquid water. Mm, that's I thought similar that was to Oblivion. Did you see Oblivion? I did. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought that was pretty cool. Yep. Twist was a little predictable, but whatever. I enjoyed it. That was fine. But they were also taking our resources. That's when I think of aliens coming. That's the biggest reason I could see. Yeah, they're because, not coming you know, for us. Because we've discovered how many planets, and we know of. I mean, we don't know of any of them with resources as like abundant it. as our own. But for life as we know it, I mean, for Again, all we know, Titan we could know be. Heaven for those methane, methane based life forms. True, true. Yeah. I mean, essentially, if aliens come here, according to Stephen Hawking and some other great minds, let's not put it all yeah. on Steve. But well, uh, they're looking for a new bitch planet. And yeah, and it's good to be cautious. I mean, that's the, that's the thing. I mean, we don't know these aliens. So why should we transmit our signal into outer space and advertise our presence when we don't know what these aliens are like? I mean, we have so been I get broadcasting, it. though. We've yeah, we already have, started. We, well, we've been leaking. On we've accident. Been leaking. We started doing that before we even knew. That, that was a deal. Yeah, right? we're starting radio like so. Like so. So, so our, our anything within a hundred light years should have been able to hear from us. <sighs> That's kind of freaky. It's not that far though. That's. I mean, it seems far. Not really. I mean, the, the galaxy is like a hundred thousand light years across. Yeah. Okay. Nobody knows we're here. Let's That's face fine. it. <laughs> so, but let's think about it this way as well. Um, in biology, now on Earth, we have invasive species everywhere. We do. All over. People take an animal and they move it from one place to another, and then that species invades that area, mm -hmm. and they take over. Would aliens be able to do that here? Let's assume that they can live in our atmosphere. I would say totally, because they have better resources. They probably at least have some level of intelligence that is higher than us in, at their baseline because they're spacefaring and, and so on. What do you think? You think they could invade our species? Just to eat, like they come down friendly, like, and then they invade on their own, on accident. A bit like District Nine when they yeah, just turned up yeah. and they had nowhere to go. Yeah, the poor little they guys. They just like hung out. Yeah, they're like big cockroaches. Just, um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, again, this is pure speculation. We got no idea what form these aliens are going to be. We assume they're going to be more technologically advanced than we are if they've actually made the effort to come here mm -hmm. and actually with the intent on invading us. Um, but say if they do something that we don't even recognize as an invasion, perhaps they just turn up, plop down, don't even see we're here, and they just kind of do their thing, and Ooh, we're like, yeah. whoa, what the hell? You know, at least talk yeah. to us. You know, if you're going to come in that. for a cup of tea, so at least say hi. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. they may not. That may not be how aliens work. That's true. That's a great point. Reminds me of um, the Gene Roddenberry show. What was that called? Conflict Earth, where oh, they came yeah. in and they like got mm -hmm. into the political system, and you know they they tried to cure all of our diseases and they tried to make us better but there was people that thought they were trying to take over 
But then it's like the, you know, in, in Star Trek, you had the Vulcans. That was the first yeah. alien species we came across, and they were actually really helpful. They came down yeah. and said, look, we're just waiting for you to get warp drive. Positives. Come on, we were hanging around for ages. Could it could be great. Enough. Vulcans are awesome. Yeah. R.I.P. Leonard Nimoy. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, ideally, if they're visiting, they're going to be a type 1 civilization or higher. Sure. Again, if you don't know what that is, go watch an earlier episode this week. We talked about the Kardashev scale. It's awesome. So they've mastered fusion. We assume. Whoa. They may not have a capitalist incentive. Yeah. You know? They, they may not be. need it. If they've mastered fusion, they don't need energy the way that we need energy. They don't need to buy it as, as much. And you have to think, why would they bother invading then? I mean, what would be their, right. what would be their purpose? You this know, is, they can, yeah. If, they can, if they're masters of their own domain, they can make any place their domain. That's so. the thing. That's the best part about, like, the positive side of aliens showing up is that if I don't need resources and I'm not competing with other people in my immediate galactic neighborhood, mm -hmm. then the only reason that you would reach out is to just be like, hey, what's up? Yeah. How's it going? I don't need your resources. I'm just coming to say, hey. I like that. Seems nice. Yeah, but there's always the fear that they're not like that. They could be locusts. Yeah. Locusts are, you know, they just travel in a swarm and they take over and they destroy planets. Yeah. Which is, you know, that's kind of a day ruiner, you know? But you can't do much about it either way. That's why I see it. Yeah. You know, if aliens are coming, they're coming. So why are we worrying about it? Yeah. And at the end of the day, I mean, we've been leaking signals into space. I would rather be sending directed signals to possible Earth-like planets out there in the hope that they respond, in the hope that there is some kind of um, very peace-loving, technologically advanced alien civilization hippie, that's hippie ultimately going to help us out. Because let's face it, the Earth isn't going in a good state right now. I mean, yeah. we're not very good at taking oh, care of our point. planet. That's a good point. So the way I see it, in 100, 200 years' time, this planet could be a wasteland. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we've got nothing to lose by sending a signal into space. If we get wiped out, we get wiped out. But there's a chance they could be They Balkans. could come and clean everything up. They could. And they could come help us and be like, look, little guys, we, we figured this out a long time ago. Yeah. Here are some things. Although that's interesting because, like, that they, maybe they cleaned up their planet because then we're being Terran centric again, right? We are. We're thinking like, oh, sure. they know how to clean up a nitrogen atmosphere. Maybe they have no idea because they don't come from a nitrogen atmosphere. Like, oh, they'll cure all our diseases because they know all of this stuff, but it's like they don't know our biology, and we don't yeah. even know that much about our biology. But we have to assume that they would have faced some of these challenges along their evolutionary yeah. path because if they've been able to accomplish interstellar travel, if they've been able to harness the amount of energy they've harnessed. They've had to have got there somehow, and needless to say, they've gone through some hardship. Yeah. So they will hopefully, and I would like to think that if we are that race, we could be that race. We could be that race that we are the only uh, intelligent aliens in this in this part uh, of our galaxy. I love that. And then in a thousand years' time, we've worked out how to clean up the environment. We've worked out how to save the planet. We're actually going, okay, now we're ready to share our experience with the galaxy, not, not the Earth. Because we screwed up our planet real bad, and it got bad for a while. Yeah. But now we're better, and here, here are other alien species nearby. So, And that comes back to like, the Fermi paradox. Maybe we're yeah. just early. Maybe we're the first ones. You know, maybe we're the first ones to get to this point. Yeah. I mean, it's unlikely considering the age of the universe, right? It's a very lonely place where we live. Yeah, but it is. It's pretty lonely. There are plans in place currently, FYI, loyal viewers. There are plans in place just in case, uh, you know, of aliens. But they're not the plans that you think they are. There's no men in black, like keeping an eye out for yeah, but will people we know? to show up. Will we know? I mean... Yeah. Would we even know if they showed up? But there is the Office of Planetary Protection. That's a thing, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. It's uh, protecting us from contaminating another planet. So this is like that last future human race we were just talking about. We want to make sure even now that we don't take microbes to Mars and accidentally contaminate the surface of Mars. Yeah. That would be bad. And vice versa. I mean, we yeah. don't want to come across something. So say if we send aliens to Mars, they will be going under strict quarantine rules like the Apollo astronauts did. They, mm -hmm. they had strict quarantine because we didn't know what was on the moon back in the 1960s right. and 70s. So they're they went that, through a like, little bubble trailer. container. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, yeah. That was quite funny. And they went through customs as well, which was just ridiculous. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. So what would you say, first thing you would say if aliens showed up? Aliens stand uh, right there in front of you. Uh, <laughs> I, I, hi, 
That's what I would say. Pretty much. Hello. Hi. Hi. It's like like meeting a famous Welcome person to for the Earth. first time. Do you, would you get like flustered? Yeah, a little bit flustered. I I um, a little bit. A little bit. Really heart rate. Heart rate would be going. Um, I wouldn't know what to say to be honest. So what if they visited our planet already, but they did it millions of years ago, and they seeded our planet, and we are all aliens now? What do you think of that? Oh, we'll be able to look into our DNA. Perhaps there's an alien message in our DNA. They, we'll they, they, you know, out. like a little stamp. We're going to talk about that tomorrow on Test Tube Plus, so make sure you subscribe and tune in for that. Thanks, Dr. Ian O'Neill, for coming today. Thank you, Trace. It's been a pleasure. We'll see you all tomorrow. You can come follow us on Twitter. I'm at Trace Dominguez. Ian is at Astro Engine. Make sure that you watch our other episodes this week. And then also, if you want to check out any of our other weeks of episodes, you can do that on our channel on YouTube youtube.com slash test2plus. Thanks for watching.